topics now. March is Women's History Month, and Arizona has been home to many trailblazers, especially when it comes to politics. So this morning, let's connect the dots. Let's start all the way back in 1912. That's when Arizona became the 10th state to grant women full voting rights. This historic moment happened nearly eight years before the U.S. Congress ratified the 19th Amendment, granting women the right to vote nationally. In 1933, Isabella Greenway made history, elected as the first U.S. Congresswoman in Arizona, serving our state on Capitol Hill for four years. Sandra Day O'Connor was the first woman to serve as Senate Majority Leader in our state and later become the first woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court from 1981 until 2006. In 1988, Rose Moffert was sworn in as Arizona's first female governor. State 48 actually leads the nation with more women governors to date than any other state. But perhaps the most well-known year in Arizona's history when it comes to women making their mark in politics is 1999, the year of the Fabulous Five. It's the first time women held all statewide elected offices in U.S. history, and they were all sworn in by none other than Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. And that's Connecting the Dots. Well, there are so many amazing women trailblazers, it's hard to name just a few. That's why in 1981, Governor Bruce Babbitt created the Arizona Women's Hall of Fame to recognize women who've made significant impacts or contributions to our state. It continues to induct new nominees every year. We'll be sharing some of their stories all month long.